All right, the last topic in Hibbler's Chapter 4 is stress concentrations. And I've copied some things out of Hibbler's book. So I'll just say from Hibbler. And the main concept is that when you have a change in dimension, a discontinuity in dimension, the stress is no longer uh, evenly distributed at the value of the average stress, but there's a concentration and a maximum. And we can calculate that maximum to be uh, some concentration factor, which we're going to look up in this chart, times the average stress for this area. And chart gives us a helpful way to calculate that and tells us all the pertinent dimensions and this is how you use it. So let's suppose we have some part and we're applying a load of 10 kilonewtons and this has a dimension of W equals 40 millimeters a thickness T equal 2 millimeters and the radius of curvature is 4 millimeters so the key dimensions we need to, the key ratios we need to calculate are R over H, which will be 4 over uh, H is here, and so that will be 40 minus 2R, so that's 32, and so 0 0.125. While we're at it, we can get W over H, so that's 40 over 32 equals 1.25. And you weigh, the way this works is you look up this value, so we're at 1.125, which is right here. I'm going to put a line vertically. And then go up to a value of 1.25. So this is the 1.1 line, the 1.2 line, and the 1.5. So we are right about here. If we extend this over, here is our k equals 1.75. And then we need to calculate, uh, let's see, sigma average is n over ht. So that will be 10 times 10 to the 3 newtons divided by h, which we should said is 32. So 0 0.032 times 0 0.002. And that equals 156.25 times 10 to the 6 pascals, or 156 megapascals. And so sigma max was be simply 1.75 times sigma average, which is 156.25 equals 273.4 megapascals. And that's it.